Cocaine is a powder drug that is derived from the leaves of the coca plant, which is grown in South America. Cocaine is taken in one of three ways, snorted, injected, or smoked. As crack moves through the bloodstream, it first leaves the user feeling energized, alert, and sensitive to sight, sound, and touch. The heart rate then increases, the pupils dilate, and the blood pressure, along with body temperature, begin to rise. Restlessness, anxiousness, and irritability then follow. At this point, the user may become extremely aggressive, paranoid, and delusional. Taking cocaine even just once puts you at an increased risk of a heart attack, stroke, respiratory problems, and severe mental retardation. Since the placenta doesn't act as a filter to the baby, if you're doing cocaine, so is your child. Some possible effects on the infant are low birth weight, body abnormalities, developmental delays, mental retardation, withdrawal, or even death. In low birth weight, cocaine is restricting the flow of oxygen and nutrition to the baby. This means the baby is unable to grow properly. Babies with low birth weights are more likely to die within the first month. Some body abnormalities the baby could face are smaller than normal head, ears that weren't able to develop properly, short nose, thin upper lip, low nasal bridge, and other abnormalities within the digestive tract, stomach, and genitals. These abnormalities are also caused by the reduced flow of oxygen to the fetus during the pregnancy. Developmental delays within the child can make it hard on them to reach milestones, such as walking, crawling, and talking. Also, motor skills used for precise movements may trail children who were exposed to cocaine and may develop learning disabilities. Retardation is common among children who are born crack babies. This is caused by the brain not being able to fully develop because of restricted oxygen flow. Each case is different, but this could mean the child has impaired intellectual skills and won't ever be able to live on their own. With withdrawal, if a mother is addicted to cocaine, so is the baby. Since the baby will no longer have access to cocaine once born, will experience common withdrawal symptoms in the hospital. The, ch the child tends to be jittery, unpredictable, and fussy. Finally, in a study done by the Department of Forensic Medicine, babies who are tested positive for cocaine at birth have a higher chance of sudden death syndrome. For the most part, there aren't any medications for cocaine-addicted babies unless there's an underlying condition. For example, many infants experience seizures after exposure and may need to be medicated. Also, because of cocaine exposure, infants tend to be unresponsive towards social stimuli. These infants need an optimal nursery environment. There should be as few as caretakers handling the baby as possible. When handling the baby, you must be sure to make eye contact, speak softly, and avoid bright lights and loud noises. 10% of women use cocaine at some point during their pregnancy. If crack is taken with alcohol, it causes the liver to release a toxic chemical that can be fatal. Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Gangnam Style